Hi guys, I'm Angel and he's Ryan. And we're the readers. And we are here for a little product testing uh, for some items that we have picked up uh, along the way. We've got two, four, five. We have five items that we're going to test. Uh, a couple of them we picked up at Mass General, I believe, when we were in North Carolina. Uh, one was from Walmart. Uh, Kroger's and Kroger's, I believe. And so, three of them you should be able to get um, right now at Kroger's, Walmart, or something like that. The others, you'd probably have to go to Mass General Store, or they may have them in, I don't know, in some other We've little stores. Maybe a convenience store or something like that. So, all right. So, we're going to get started, and we're going to let Ryan choose what we're going to try first. We're going to start with... <clears throat> Caramel creams with Oreo. Interesting. This came from Mass. Mm-hmm. Yep. This came, um, I think, from October. We went there in October for um, the Church Street Festival <coughs> in downtown Waynesville, and so we went to the Mass General Store over we there, and we picked up a couple things. Um, if you've not been to Waynesville, it's a neat little town. Uh, we love to go. Uh, we love the sweet onion. We eat there. Um, there's uh, the Mass General Store. There's a lot of other small shops that you can shop in. There, my favorite is the Old Brick House that has primitive items. And uh, yeah, and we did a video on our trip over there for the Church Street Festival. And so if you've not watched it, you might go back and watch that one. But for now, this is an Oreo. What did you say it was? An Oreo caramel. Caramel creams with Oreo. Okay, let's try it. My bad. So it's caramel made with Oreo cookie pieces and filled with the Oreo cream. I don't really get the caramel. The only part you get with caramel is the chewy. This tastes like something else that we've had before that we've gotten from Mass General. Um, and I can't remember what it is. Made by Goats. G-O-E-T-Z. I've never heard of them. Hmm. Probably not going to be our favorite. Mm. It's definitely chewy. Does not have a caramel chewy texture to me. Um, Once you start into yeah, it. I can take it or leave it. Not yeah. a huge fan of it. They're actually kind of plain. What's you want to go with these next? Sure. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do, I think Ryan picked this one out too. These are called Dots Homemade Pretzels. Original seasoned pretzel twist. And I think they've been around for a long time. We just, we've never personally eaten them. Uh, what's it say? Velva from North Dakota. North Dakota, Pride of Dakota. And these are dots dots pretzels. They're manufactured. Oh, I think I got that open. Now these look. I thought these were gonna be tiny. From looking at the package, they're not. They look like they're a buttery twist. Buttery pretzel. They smell yeah. buttery. Did you smell? Yeah. It smells, smells buttery. Okay. Mmm. He, he's not going to be as big a fan of them as I am. And I bet it's That's gonna being the seasoned part. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I give him a thumbs up. And I don't see any of the stuff that makes you... It's garlicky. Yeah. It's very garlicky. If you like party mix, and you get the party mix where they put a little bit of that garlic powder on it and then the Worcestershire and your stuff, I mean, it'll just burn the hide right off your tongue. It's so good. That's about like these, isn't it? And if you ate a lot of these... Different definition of good, but hey, mm. each to their own. 
I'll be eating these because I don't believe he will. He doesn't like that. He's he don't like that savory flavor, where where it's like Worcestershire, sauce Worcestershire garlic, onion powder. Bring it. It's all me. I don't like the cheddar, the cheese, the, the party mix. So. Mm mm. He doesn't. I like the individual pieces. I don't like it when Miranda. Miranda makes the best party mix, and she always gives me some for Christmas. And she eats it all. And I eat it. He like, doesn't eat it because he just he don't like it. Now he Twix. likes he likes the stuff that's in it. If it didn't have the savory. Twix salted caramel. Mmm. All right. Twix salted caramel. Regular Twix. Looks like regular Twix, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a Twix. I mean, I'm not disappointed in it because I like Twix. What? Um, it tastes like a regular Twix. I'm not taste. I figured it would have like a little salty flavor, didn't you? Maybe the caramel is a little stronger. Maybe. I'm not getting it. If you gave somebody this and you didn't tell me different. Okay. I just got a piece of salt. I did too. Okay, so, and I think, is that a piece of salt right there on that caramel? Probably. I just got like a little crunch. Okay. The first bite just take, tastes like a regular Twix. That second bite, I got a little salty, didn't you? Like they put sea salt in there or something. Oh. What? Crunchy cookie, sea salt, caramel, creamy cookie. So this spread good. sea salt out. I would eat it. I mean, it's a Twix with. I just now got another salt wave. Okay, I like it. But I like Twix, so. So far, that's my favorite by far. Two more. Okay. I think I picked this one up. This is M&M pretzel snowballs. So. So it's pretzel, pretzel filled M&Ms, but it's white chocolate instead of dark chocolate. Oh, and they're cute. Hold on a minute. I mean. Is it just those three colors? Okay, so here are the colors. White, a light blue, and a dark blue. White? Mm-hmm. That's all I have them. Lots of crunch, that's for sure. Yes. Very crunchy. I guess the pretzel went in my mouth. <laughs> I just trying to write it. The pretzel stayed in the thing. Mm-hmm. You see? I did. It's just those little round balls, kind of like you bought in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not bad. They're chocolate. really crunchy. It's like a chocolate-covered pretzel, just crunchy. It's really crunchy because it's not chocolate, just chocolate-covered. What you're feeling mostly is Was the candy-coated. Candy and the crunch from the pretzel. Mm-hmm. The chocolate, the white chocolate is not overpowering. Mm-mm. Now there are some M&Ms, there are some white chocolate M&Ms where the white chocolate is like really strong. Yeah. Like candy corn M&Ms, the white chocolate are- These really are good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
His little nose is made out of pretzel. It's his goggles. His little goggle things are made, made out, out of pretzel. pretzels right here. <laughs> How cute. Okay, I picked this one up at Walmart. Snickers cinnamon bun. Oh, cinnamon cinnamon. So it's a uh, cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. And it doesn't say anything else. Oh, here we go. Uh, peanuts, cinnamon bun flavored nougat, mm. caramel, and milk chocolate. All right. She's gonna take a bite, and then I'm gonna take a bite. Just make this simple. There's no reason to get a knife for one thing. No. It's just a regular sneaker. Actually, she's apparently just gonna break it off. Well. Are you tasting the cinnamon? Mm-hmm. I'm tasting the cinnamon. But it doesn't taste like a cinnamon bun to me. It, you don't feel like you're eating a cinnamon bun. I feel like you're having some type of just chocolate and cinnamon. Are you tasting the cinnamon? Not really. Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It definitely doesn't taste like a regular. Take a bite and kind of inhale in. It has the texture of a stinger by far. Not complete texture. Yeah, what's in your mouth? Just. It smells like a chocolate cinnamon candle or something, like a wax melt. Not bad. Do you like cinnamon and chocolate? That's not bad at all. Mm hmm. I think I'd rather have a regular, regular snicker. Oh, any day. So my favorite is the Twix. The Twix was good. Um, but we didn't find that it tasted much different than a Twix. Mm -mm. You, um, after the second bite in, you get some of the big pieces of. You sea get salt. the uh, salty flavor just a little bit. Um, I like the Twix. Um. I thoroughly enjoyed these little deals. Just because I like, um. She likes garlic. She likes that seasoning. I do. The savory seasoning. Well, it says it has, um, salt, dried garlic, spices, dried onion. Um, so there you go. I mean,. We bought these, who made them? Snyder's or somebody else that we bought one time that was a buttery. I don't remember buttery. We bought some on the way home because we thought we'd, when they were seasoning like that, she liked them, but they had a, something in them that made me in itch. Them that made her itch. Oh, yeah. So I took them to school. I didn't end up eating them because I should eat two or three of them. I'm good. He, he, uh, he don't like that stuff. Um, Zach liked them. I'm a Chex Mix kind of person, party mix, um, all that kind of stuff. So, so there were our items. We had the Dots pretzels. We had the caramel Oreo. We had the um, Snowball pretzel M&Ms. We had the salted caramel, salted caramel Twix. And then we had the uh, cinnamon bun snicker. And as you can tell, we ate all that. <laughs> so. We did, would have ate all this. And we will eat all well, this. Well, we just got through eating supper. And so. That was a good dessert. That was a good little snack. So, um, if you want to try a couple of these items, Snickers, M&M's, or Twix, you can look at your local um, grocery store, your Walmart store, Target, somewhere like that. And you can probably find those. The other two items you'll probably have to get at a um, specialty store, a mass general store, or something like that. So, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, The Readers, please do so. Um, give us a thumbs up. Share our videos. You can follow us on Facebook under The Readers as well. And, um, yeah. So, um, 
We still have one video that just keeps going up little by little. We're over 800 and something right now, which is super exciting for me. Um, he probably could care less, but I get excited when I when I, I check to see. Like um, but yeah, so we're 800 and something views on our um, Sweden snack crate. If you've not saw that snack crate, please go watch that. Um, maybe we'll get to a thousand views. Who knows? But um, anyways, the holiday season is coming up. We are into December now. Things are going to start getting hectic. Uh, Christmas parties here and there and everywhere. Um, Christmas lights to see. Christmas plays. Singing Christmas tree at church. Um, just a lot of things to do. Um, I'll probably post a wrestling one. Yes, and wrestling season. Spend a lot of time wrestling. Wrestling season is here. Yippee! <sighs> there is coming a day when we don't have to um, really do all wrestling stuff. Never get to sleep in, ever. For it's always something. Get to sleep in in the spring. Anyways, just not the fall and winter. Not when you really want to hibernate and stay in bed on a cold morning. You have to get up. Um, so, anyways, guys, uh, we hope you're enjoying our videos um, as much as we enjoy doing them. And until next time, be safe, be well, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Yeah.